What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more of Helsing Ultimate Abrasion, currently on episode five, not six, yeah. right, Taka? Not six, episode five. That's <laughs> yes. right. That's right. That's right. Yep. And we're here to react to more together. Takahata is one of the creators of Helsing Ultimate Abridged. It also voices Alucard. So we're going to get straight into things. Before we get started, you know the vibes. The like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. And check out Taka stuff. Take it away, Taka. Please do check out YouTube at Takahata101VT for amazing clips daily from my bar streams featuring as well the wonderful Alicia X Life Slash Death right here. Mm -hmm. She swung by the bar. We have lots of amazing clips and we have a new one going up every day, sometimes two a day as a matter of fact. And they're a lot of fun, but check out twitch.tv slash Takahata101 as well, where you can see those live recordings happen and even influence them through the chat. That's right, everybody. Uh huh. Also, you can follow me on tw on uh, that Sinking Titanic that is uh, Twitter. and Or you can also follow me on my blue ski. <laughs> <laughs> my blue ski, yeah. And if you made it all the way through this intro, the code word for today, so I know you didn't skip it, is... Sickos? <laughs> Sicko and the bitch. Sicko and the bitch. <laughs> Let's get into I it. Bitch. <laughs> oh, come on, love. Show us your tits. Oh, <laughs> well, she declined. Oh, oh, let's get oh, pissed. Hi, hey, Mike. What's the last thing you ever thought you'd see in the night sky? Oh, that's, that's a deep question, man. I... No, no, because it's blimps. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Because it's blimps. Yeah. They got blimps. Remember the blimps? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they're yeah, do you think they were joking about the blimp thing? You thought that was a joke? <laughs> this they're is so... German. They don't joke. This is so terrifying. <laughs> what giant giant Zeppelins? Just, just vibing, they're just going. <laughs> like it's not because like it's one thing if like it, like a bomber plane just like sweeps past you, right? It's another thing if it leisurely strolls across your fucking horizon. Like <laughs> uninterrupted. Just, uninterrupted that is so terrifying <laughs> oh god gentlemen we have made it all right achtung achtung Woo -hoo. hans hans bring it down a notch <laughs> Now, Herr Doctor, <laughs> Captain, First Lieutenant, who's our fabulous mascot? Please lead us off. Of course. Everyone, thank you for coming to the mandatory pre-war seminar. Please open your World War III pamphlets to page three, as the first two pages merely contain a forward from Nicholas Cage. We have an exciting item. You got Nick Cage. What? I just like being and stuff, you know? Wow. Just... <laughs> have you seen Willy's Wonderland? Yes, I have. I feel like it was just a bet. And he won it. <laughs> but you can't make a movie great where you have no lines of dialogue. Bam. Can't say a single word. Go for it. Send it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. It's going to be an iconic film. <laughs> he talking about it he genuinely killed it. Watching Nicolas Cage beat the fuck out of animatronics for like an hour and a half was therapeutic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then taking a soda break and playing on a pinball machine. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> In the area of the evening's events. Tonight, we annihilate London. Oh. oh. All of London? All of London. Buckingham Palace laid to waste. So the my editor lives there. That might be a problem. The, the House of Parliament? <laughs> Eradicated. The Tower of London? Obliterated. The Holocaust Museum? Leave that be. No one will deny what we did. <laughs> <laughs> London Bridge. Yeah, yeah, Plus. London Bridge is falling down. We all know the song. Plus. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 it's like the, the level of meta of that joke is my, <laughs> my, my favorite bit because it's just like even the, the idea that these guys are like, how dare you say we didn't do that, guys? We totally did it. <laughs> it's like it's like it, the, the, that's, it's like the level of like <laughs> it's just so profoundly fucked up. The more you think about it, yeah. it's like there's the people would deny it, but then but there's just the the standing like, no, on we business. Did it. Yeah, we, thought, well, we didn't do that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um 
right, so you scroll back a little bit. We can keep going here. I just want yep. to point that out. I, this entire bit is like no one just deny un what we did. <laughs> what about London Bridge? Yeah, yeah, London Bridge is falling down. We all know the song. Look, you be the first to burn it down. You can go ahead and sing it. I don't care. Of okay. <laughs> Speaking of music, the accompaniment tonight has been selected via survey. And I hope you're as excited as I am. This song tonight is most appropriate for ironic reasons. The best reasons. But first, a toast. To the answer of an age-old question. Oh? <laughs> is it good for absolutely nothing? Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is it good for right, absolutely nothing? Absolutely nothing. Thanks to me. Ah! <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> what is it good for? Listen to me. Let me. Ah! Oh, yeah. You've hoped for, Major. Yes, because it means the destruction, oh, destruction of innocent of lives. Innocent lives. Lives. <laughs> Rage! Younger generation. Induction! Then destruction! Who wants to die? Who wants to die? Me! Me! Oh wait. <laughs> right. Yeah, they firebombed the swastika into London. God! That's so fucked, but it looks super sick <laughs> for anime. <laughs> Not metal set what piece. That's all. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I was like, I was like, I don't think I can say. <laughs> I was like, how do I word this without that being offensive? That looks cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like you can appreciate the set piece. And, yeah, it's uh, cool in the anime. Is what I said. <laughs> in panic. I love this fictional story. There's yep. a camera. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like Lanny as the major is just so good. So boat. good. I mean, he's stuck on the bloody boat. I need you idiots to send a helicopter after him and retrieve him. Can't he fly with his vampire powers? What? No, no, he what? can't fly with his vampire powers. Then how did he get there? <laughs> on the blackbird we appropriated. You stole the blackbird? Did you just send the helicopter? We <laughs> can't. Our communications are down. What? They have been for the last two hours. So you're telling me that, oh. as of this moment, we have no access to Alucard. Communications with our forces in the outside world are down, and the enemy could very well be knocking at our door? Oh, quite literally. Okay, yep, yep, quite literally. Oh, perhaps the enemy was sitting beside you on the round table the whole time. Oh! Reggie, this is a door. It's Reggie. Sir, Redolent is my name. I have spent the last five years of my life cleaning up after your pet vampire. And now, it is time Sir Reginald has paid what he deserves. <laughs> you know, I get it now. Get what? <laughs> How Alucard feels. Just a little bit anyway. But I must say, Sir Aww. Reginald, it is quite impressive that, despite how hilariously amateur this little coup of yours is, that you're still managing to hold that gun. She's broken. We've broken her. We've broken her, everybody. No! She's, we're barely in, she's broken. I can't. I can't. Him delivering it like that. It just, because I just, my brain just didn't expect it at all. So I was just like, I was like just talking about some other shit, about to talk about some other shit, and then he says that, and it cut me off mid-word, just into a scream. I can't. I just. Oh, that's the wonderful, talented uh, Weekly Two Show, aka Remix. So goddamn badass as Walter. He's such a such a good job oh. voice acting him. Oh my god. <laughs> Now think about what you've done. <laughs> so, Sir Penwood, are you alright? Well, Reginald was actually my brother-in-law. So, currently processing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Falling down. <laughs> My fair lady, what should we do? <laughs> we have to evacuate immediately. 
it's it's just you it's like so that? You like, it's you so like that? corny that it works like it's just it's so just cute as fuck that's just so cute i love that we had to do it we, yeah we have, one bridge is literally burning down we have to do it yeah falling down, falling down! my fair oh, lady <laughs> my fair lady what should we do <laughs> sir penwood you could ride with me the rest of you carpool no i am not going anywhere Mm? I like, know I'm not much of a man. Sorry, Risa, by the way. So I've had a sister. silver spoon in my mouth since the day I was born. This position, it's not suited for a meek gentleman like myself. But I'll be damned, I say, if I tuck my tail in between my legs at the first sign of peril. I thank you for your service, Miss Integra, but I... Here's a gun. There are 12 holy bullets. Save one for yourself. What? Oh, we got time. Yes, sir, Integra. I'm sorry. Just a cold ass. Save one for yourself. Anyways, like just okay. Uh, I'll, I'm, we they don't have time. They, the time is like <laughs> crucial right at this stage right now. That's Penwin. He's just been a chicken shit. You remember he like Sarah's fell on him. He's like, oh my god, what's happening? He's like, no, no, no. I got. I'm not good for this, but I'm not backing down. I got. I got this shit. Yep. <laughs> That's voiced by little Kari He's voiced by little Karibo, uh, the voice of Frieza and creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. And he knocks this character so out of the park for the next scene. Just buckle up, please. Just wait. For I'm this. ready. This All is, right. This is so great. Walter. Yes, sir, Integra. Ready the car. We've got a war to win. Ooh, good line delivery on that. Ah, yes. Buckingham Palace is burning. And so are my lines. <laughs> First lieutenant, former Olympic bodybuilder Zorin Blitz. Sorry, I was understandably caught up in some moments. You finally have orders for me, Major? Ah, indeed, my dear Zorin. You have a very specific target. Where shall my sight be pointed? Uh, the Helsing Organization headquarters. Yes. And you? Yes. Shall provide reconnaissance. Oh. No! <laughs> okay, Zorin, Zorin, I need you to bring it back for me. Take a deep breath. Contain the calamity that is your memories. <laughs> no one more eager to see them. I'm sorry. It's just you were telling a motherfucker with face tattoos and a big ass scythe. Yeah, reconnaissance. Go. Like... Uh, she's like, what? What? We're in the middle of fight. You want to do what? <laughs> I I'm like designed for killing right now. Why the fuck am I not? <laughs> so that's voiced by Daniel McRae. Oh, we'll pause. That's, yep. This is introduced. This is Zoran Blitz. She voiced by Daniel McRae. She mm -hmm. a, knocks this character out of the park as well. We introduce a lot of like the rogues gallery of villains here. We have Schrodinger. We have Captain, who's that big, tall like, dude in the giant trench coat. We have Zoran Blitz here as well. We have Hair Doctor. We have the Major. And yeah, that's pretty much the villain crew, more or less. So, well, and there are more characters show up throughout the next little bit here. Have fun. But this is a big, yeah, here we go. All right. <laughs> there is no one more eager to see them bleed than I, but we must be careful. Sir Integra Fairbrook Wingate Helsing, any woman who commands the respect of a beast such as Alucard is not to be trifled with. Fantasized off on a lonely Saturday night with a bottle of Chardonnay? No, uh, but not trifled this. <laughs> but she yeah, yeah, fun yeah fun. fair enough. Here. A girl, a police girl, the only living vampire sired by Alucard himself. Why? Is it her skill? Her unpredictable nature? The big titties? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? But it is definitely I the big titties. <laughs> gamble with maybes. You will act as the vanguard and survey their forces. Are we clear? Transparently. Wunderbar. Now, speaking of which. Sergeant Klaus, have you spotted Frau Helsink? Yeah, Major. Driving past Primrose Hill. Is it on fire? It could be more on fire. Oh. Buckle up. Alright, buckled up. I am Sir Penwood. Vice Admiral of the British Security Council. I know things seem bleak to those who are still alive, but steady on. We are still fighting, each and every one of us. Oh. We shall defend Queen and Country against this decades old barbarism. Oh. 
Oh, that's a breach? I voice this guy. Terrible oh, this one? Accent. So bad. How valiant of you, sir, Edward. Defending your post down to the last man. Ah, uh, but that's where I must rebuke you. Because where you see one man, I see four. See four? Ah. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! <sighs> When you get to hell, tell them Penwood sent you. And then apologize on my behalf for the inconvenience. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> and then apologize for the right? inconvenience. <laughs> apologize on my behalf for the inconvenience. Boom! Boom! Oh, he just took out like 50 Nazis. He just took out like 50 dudes at once. With him. He took down motherfucker took 50 Nazis down with him on his way out the door. The chicken shit silver spoon guy. He's like, fuck that. Yep. I'm going down fighting. <laughs> God damn. Such <laughs> more that most British line in the whole damn show. Really was. <laughs> and I'm sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Walter. Yes, ma'am. Sir Penwood was a well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> we have a problem. Oh my god, the road is on fire. Unfortunately, that's not the worst of it. Oh? If you'll excuse me, I have to meet with an old friend. You need to take the car and make your way to the HQ on your own. I believe in you, ma'am. Walter, there's something I want you to know. This is no time for goodbye, Sir Integra. No, I, I don't know how to drive. You what? have driven me literally everywhere since I was ten. Oh. oh. Well, perfect time to learn. <laughs> oh shit. Me, no matter what. <laughs> Understood. Understood, ma'am. <laughs> now, which one's the club? Okay, we're driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, brilliant. You haven't aged a day. Ah, yes. We have aged like fine wine. You, on the other hand, have aged like milk. Spoiled, sour, and ruining my meal. But don't get me wrong, it's still splendid to see you. Let's have a heart to heart. Ah, yeah. shit. I... I'm in the state of, oh my fuck. <laughs> you like how, the state, how amped up the stakes are now? Yeah, yeah. They just, well, they it's removed, zero to 100. It's, oh, I need fuck. you to know, like, what essentially happened was in the writing, I believe, I don't want to speak for Koto Hirano, but he realized his Alucard was too powerful, so he removed him from the plot for a bit to create actual stakes. <laughs> now Alucard's completely removed, and now Walter's out of the fight. Like, where are the heroes? Yeah. Who, who do you got? Yeah, now it's, go. a, it's a lot more fucking intense. Yeah. Yeah. And now here comes the. <laughs> there she is. Go on. Tell her to pull over. No. 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 Just dead. Hans, nine, and he was having such a good day. He oh. got to burn down London Bridge, sing the song, everything. Oh, congratulations! Oh, took an entire squadron of inhuman, nigh immortal fake vampires to hunt down and corner a 22 year old woman. That's a woman, she is 22. <laughs> There are... had... Both those questions popped in my head. Both of those yeah. questions. And I'm, I'm, saying it. I'm like, she's not 40? What? <laughs> yeah, like, and what? Also, but we'll say this. Like, I haven't even paused. Like, the amount of cameos at this stage, there, if you'd have to actually check the actual like credit list at the end of the episode or in the link or, or in the actual create links down below, essentially, uh, or like the description below the video itself, there are like 20 like named voice actors playing all these separate characters mm -hmm. everything from uh das Boshit, the creator of the gmod idiot box 
to professional voice actors who are in tons of shows. Literally, one of the guys, Gutenhausen, can, can you please open the door? And he gets hit by a car. Like, that's Tomamoto, who is in a bunch of uh, Smiling Friends episodes. Like, there have been Smiling oh. Friends care actors in this show nonstop. You haven't even realized it yet. Holy shit! Yeah, that's... like, G literally, the, the, the creative Gmod Idiot Box has a line coming up here really quick here, and it's, like, so fucking funny. Because he, like, again, like, at this stage, we have so many individual characters uh, that, like, in the end, I can, like, some people can just do a quick voice, essentially. It's, like, two lines of dialogue at most before they die. It's, like, they have a quick one-liner and then they die. So at that point, at this stage, I was, like, if, if it's only a short cameo, I'm going to look to see if I can get somebody. Because it's literally just 15 minutes of their time to record real quick and they can be in that. Yeah. Episode. So uh, like later episodes, you'll see we'll have like, such a with such some of the later episodes have such a big cast list because we have so many soldiers and Nazis who are just played by abridgers and outside of like abridging uh, content creators and everything. So it's just it's it's incredible how the people who said yes to this project. Like, like, uh, yeah, like Yamage, I'm heading down Primrose Hill. Is it on fire? It could be more on fire. That's Malcolm from the 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 nostalgia critic videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, like we, we again. There's so many fucking people. We actually sit down and actually look through the credits. You're like, holy fuck! All these people who are in this shit, and it's like it's it was really cool that we were able to pull them all in to play these characters to be in a giant ensemble here. And That's, this yeah, scene it's fucking is sick. No different because you're about to see a couple characters, and I don't want to spoil anything. So let's just take it. Right. I hope it's everything you've dreamed of. So how about it then? Come and get the first real fight you've had in 50 years, you dickless cowards! Oh, oh shit! You in the fucking oh. Guess who? Oh, what? God, said guilty. <laughs> Priest. Wait, like the band? They were named after him! <laughs> <laughs> they were named after him! The Judas Priest, like the band? They were named they after were him! They were named after him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look yeah. Oh, my God. This is such a left turn. This like is like what I call a swerve. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got teary eyed when I left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they were named after him. By Jove, you fucking header of a woman, surrounded by fifty vampire Nazis armed literally to the teeth. And what do you do? You get out of your fucking car, pull out your sword, cut off one of their heads, and yell, "Come at me, you crowd shits!" <laughs> no wonder Alicorn wants to plow that virgin soil. I'm oh. thinking about throwing some flowers myself. <laughs> Alexander Anderson, to what do I owe the unexpected pleasure? Ah, you know, just out and about with me posse. Posse? Oh! Look, you know how your pet vampire has got his own pet vampire? Well, that got me thinking, so I acquired some learned youngsters myself. Two of them, which is twice as good. And here's the real kicker. Okay. One's Japanese, and the other one's fucking German. Ain't that topical? I just need an Italian one, and I've got me an axis of righteousness. <laughs> this is Yumi and Heinkel. Yumi is voiced by the actress who plays Chi-Chi -Chi in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, and Heinkel is voiced by Kira. You may know her as the voice of Jolene and Jojo. That is wonderful. I would like to talk about the joke made. <laughs> I what paused. Joke? I paused for a different reason, and I feel like we just. What joke is that? <laughs> She's also two just... B as well. He just. <laughs> He's just like. He's... Oh yeah. So the voice actors for those characters are. I paused out of sheer shock, <laughs> and I'm like. I... The axis of righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's canon. One's Japanese, one's German. I'm just like, yeah, you seen an Italian one. You got, you got the, uh, you got the World War II baddies. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be great. We can call them that if there was an at like a really hot like Italian lady, and they'd be, the, they'd be the World War II baddies. Oh my god, that'd be their name. <laughs> we love that for them. <laughs> that is sickos and bitches approved. <laughs> Yummy. 
Say something in moon speak. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a German one. Heichel shit shoots things. That's great. Pop pop, watch and havens drop. The Asterians? We're not scared of you. Look at you. You don't even know how to use a bayonet. It goes on the gun, idiot. Oh. Pause. Pause. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Double click. That yep. line. Yeah, it's scary. It's you. We're not scared of you. You look. You look at you. You're using the. You don't even know how to use base and that. It goes on to God, idiot. <laughs> That's Jasmo shit, the creator of the Gmod idiot box series. That's his one line. This is cameo. Oh, there you <laughs> go, chat. There you That's go. Cameo. There we go. As like, for example, like you just like, you can get people in for these quick jokes essentially because it's just a random soldier in a crowd talking. So it's like boom. We can just don't have any lip flaps. We can just boom get him in there. That was oh. him. Yeah, it was Jasmo shit, everybody. Yeah, he fucking nailed that joke. I remember directing him. He was like, I was like, it goes on to God, idiot. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> I scroll back a little bit. Oh, oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. He back. He's, he, we cut, I cut him off a little bit there. Here we go. I don't even know how to use a bayonet. It goes on to God, idiot. Now, if you'll excuse us, you English cow, it's time for the Asterians to do your job for you and put these soulless bodies where they belong. In the ground, in case you didn't take. Okay. <laughs> in case you didn't take my. In thirds. <laughs> Who are we? The necessary evil. Why are we necessary? To purge the world of evil worse than man. And why are we God's chosen few, ordained to undertake this unholy task? Because no one else will. Okay. And because it's fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little Irish jig in the background. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the end of episode five. Hold on. Wait, no. It's not. Oh, it's not. Or it's is not. it? Ooh. Hey, there you are, buddy. Something's burning. <laughs> ah, that was Hellsing Embraced Episode 5. <laughs> you like that last show? Something's it's burning. Just it was so well done because, like, the quiet, silent steps, the long pause, and then. Something's. Just the hard sniff. <laughs> Something's burning. <laughs> Something's burning. Yeah. God damn. Um, I, I, I like I nothing but credit to the editor and my co-writer Kaiser Neko. Like I, all these videos, like I cannot reiterate why none of this would have happened without him. Easily, easily, without a doubt. Like, God no, damn. No ambiguity with that. It would not exist without him. He was not only just an amazing editor. He was like an amazing co-writer. And the the cast list we have because this was the first time where. The main character was gone, essentially. Alucard was just not present in this episode. It's one of my favorite episodes, even though my guy's not in it until like the last line. And I realized like when we were writing, I'm like, fuck, he has no lines in this episode. That's why I kind of gave myself that one like British German turncoat guy who's like, yeah. ah, so a pen one. Uh, it was like bad, such a bad German accent. It sounds British. So I'm just like, yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, it was just like, great top to bottom, but it was actually like people were really kind of frustrated. Where's Alucard? I'm like, you got to talk to the creator of Helsing. This is what he did. Yeah. He removed Alucard from the show for a bit. And it sucks, but we want him back. But in the end, uh, the next two episodes cover a, like a show within a show, essentially. The best way of putting it. Because okay. the whole tone shifts. Because we have episode four and five. You can see how the tone is very similar. The tone mm -hmm. shifts yet again the next episode. That's so quick. <laughs> Yes, it, it because the manga was coming out, and what they did for, for the actual presentation of each of the OVAs was it followed an actual book, like manga release of like eight to ten chapters. I forget how many. Okay. Um, the actually Helsing manga is like book one, book two. There were ten books, so they released everything, uh, like it, it is like per book essentially. At at as of next episode, we start shift. We start changing the order of everything. Essentially, we start taking stuff from like a movie like eight and putting it in movie six. 
We take scenes from movie seven, put them in like later scenes as well. We start shifting around a lot of potential stuff because there's a lot of moving pieces that we're coming up for the next uh, five episodes, essentially. Okay. So we start playing with the order of events a little bit. For example, we all I can say is we end episode eight. We actually take part of episode nine and put it in episode eight because it didn't actually like to end it on a much stronger note mm -hmm. because essentially they ended the book. Like they ended the actual OVA where the book ends. And it's like, no, but the plot has two more chapters to it before it really hard cuts to the next part of the story. So we just mm -hmm. took that next part of the OVA and we added to it to kind of actually do this. But some people, like, in a lot of ways, don't care for these three episodes because they're not a la carte focused. I personally think they're great as shit because I've, I mean, I love, I love playing a la carte. I love my boy. But I'm really happy with how these episodes turned out because it let the other supporting cast really lift up the whole show. Yeah, I feel like you guys did a really fun job with it. So I was thoroughly entertained. And also having it end on Alucard and having your voice for the final part, like really just nails the fun feeling at the end too. So that resonates I, as well after. I always believe in one simple method. You can get as dramatic as you want, but you gotta end on a joke. Yep. You gotta end yep. on a joke. It's a comedy. This isn't a dramatic retelling. This is a comedy. It's a comedy gag dub. While you can have stakes, you still... Need to end it on a joke, as far as I'm concerned. That's always been how I've looked at everything, which is why in later parts of DBC, there's a whole this dramatic moment, all of a sudden a big joke lands. Like, good, you need to, <laughs> you need to end it on a joke, essentially. I think Supporting the only the time in a bridge series where I feel like ending on a serious note that really fucking worked was sort of online abridged episode 17, which is like mm. their second last one, because their new one just came out, I'm pretty sure, for 18. Just aired. Yes, it did. Um, yeah, the new episode just came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like in 17, like how they ended it was like super like emotionally heavy but it's like one of those things where it's so yeah. like throws you, can, you off you because they're it. joke it, after it's, joke yeah it's free it's it's scary you have to really be able to hook them yeah like they the writing what, was so strong off, that it worked the, yeah of all people to pull it off they could pull it off those guys have been great from day one i yep. will always appreciate how they reached out to me to play kaiba because, Which you did uh, great in. <laughs> I thought that was funny because I had only seen Sword Art like three episodes, and I'm like, who the guy, Kaiba, the guy who runs everything? Oh, John, John Sword Art Online? Yes, yes, John Sword Art Online. I'm like, ah, <laughs> Mr. Sword Art Online. Yes, I know the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of him. Oh my God. Uh, Wait, so have you ever actually really like, watched mm -hmm. like, Sword Art for real any, like, at all or no? I've watched it. Yeah, I have seen the actual show. I actually okay. think Gun Gal is the best part of it, truthfully. That's the, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love Gun Gal. I liked it a lot. It was an interesting story. I, I, like, I really thought the story was actually really, like, it was different. It made me actually like it. But anyway, sorry. We can talk about that later because I think we got, uh, like, any other things about Helsing and Breeze here I can say. Um, I, this episode was a lot of fun to write production-wise. It was a bit stressful. We were really worried about not having Alucard. But in the end, we think we really nailed it. Um, easily favorite scene, like Lanny Pator's performance, uh, the reveal of Anderson, and my god, Sir Penwood being like a second tier character, having one of the best fucking scenes in the whole show, and that is all down to Little Karibo, uh, the, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge playing that character. He not only knocked it out of the park, it easily was just such a good fucking read. Apologize on my behalf to the inconvenience, and then blows up, takes out all these Nazis with him, just oh, yeah, it's just so goddamn good. It's such so a good perfect. scene. Such, yeah, absolutely, without a doubt. And just the support cast and all the voice actors coming in playing all these incidental Nazis and soldiers and everything, they just really added, made, made it feel so filled because each of them was like voiced by a different guy. So it really makes it feel like very lived in. And I think that was one of the things I'm very proud about that. And just a shout out again to Kaiser Necker, the editor, for making that work. Yeah, um, it's like, it was just seen... so nice to like, like one, his editing pacing is really awesome, like, as well as like matching the script for like both of you writing it together. We... Yeah. One thing we will always have is we will always be sticklers for pacing. Um, mm -hmm. I, and it's why I'm really happy because in the end, like we wrote together and I was able to uh, like really get what I needed in there, but he was able to just measure it and work with me to really execute it perfectly. More like me working with him truthfully, because in the end, he's the editor. Yep. I know we actually shift to some other people helping with editing because uh, Kaiser Neko's editing load becomes really substantial after this because he starts getting to the real nitty gritty of season mm -hmm. three of Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And if you've seen it, folks, you know why it's like pretty in editing intensive. So it's why uh, in the end we had to bring on some more people to help edit and stuff. So cool. He's still knocking out of the park at this stage really is. So no, this, and this was wonderful. And I really appreciate Alicia bringing me back onto her stream again and letting me talk about these videos 
on her YouTube channel, which you should be like, favorite, and subscribing and ringing that bell, everybody. Woo! That's right. That's <laughs> also, right, check everybody. down Just the description below saying. to check out Takahata 101's channel. Uh, he's currently yeah. on the road to 100k subs on his VTuber channel. That's right, Takahata 101 VT as in VTuber. Click it down in the link below and you can go subscribe there and check out clips from his live streams, which he does a lot of bits, a lot of comedy stuff and brings on a lot of guests. So I hope you check that out too. We'll catch um, you guys in the next one. Ever... Uh, we have so many people, including you there. Oh, it's me. Yeah, I'm on there too. <laughs> With exclusive content that you actually don't see here on my channel. It's actually separate content from his own live streams that he posts on the channel where I'm featured in. So if you want to see that too, it's over there. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being absolutely incredible. Thank you, Taka, for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bitches and so oh, sorry, was it bitches and psycho or psycho psychos and bitches? Psycho and the psycho and the bitch. Oh, psycho and the bitch. Psycho and the bitch out. <laughs> psycho and the bitch out, and I'm bitch. <laughs>